On the authority of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and the authority of the Prophet وسلم, who said, Verily the majority of the martyrs of my nation are from those that die on their beds. God knows best as to the intention of many of those that are killed in battle. SubhanAllah. The majority of my martyrs are Ashabul Furush. The majority of Ashabul Furush, they just die of natural causes, quote unquote, inside of their bed. Yawm al Qiyamah, they raised as Shuhada and Allah, martyrs with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? The niyyah, the intention that they held, Sadiqa lillah, sincerely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's an intention that we all have to have. You know, one of the great Imams saying Abu Bakr bin Salim, when he said, Allahumma inis aluka ziyadatin fil deen wa barakat al umar, wa sihatin fil jasad, wa sihatin fil rizq, wa tawbatan qabl al maut, wa shahadatin and al maut. Look at the dua of the great Imam asking Allah ta'ala for shahada, martyrdom at the point of death. It doesn't necessarily mean in the ranks on a battlefield. Just that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows how sincere he was in that dua that he made. That when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to create the correct means, then he would be found wherever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to find him. That Imams, Rasikhuna, and the Prophet said, the one who doesn't hold that intention about shahada, that intention in their heart and dies, look at his words, they die the death of jahiliyyah, the Prophet Sallallahu says, they die the death of the days of ignorance, they're the niyas that we have to hold, and then leave it to Allah Ta'ala to create context or not create context, biyadillah, that's in the hands of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, but just as Allah Ta'ala has commanded us with things on the limbs, he's commanded us with things inside of the great thing, inside of the heart in and of itself, huh? Tayyib. And look at Sayyidina Khalid and Walid as an example. When he died, Sayyidina Khalid, he said on Sayyidina Khalid's body, there's not a space upon his entire body, say that there's a wound upon it, a wound upon it. His entire body strips his body, top down, top here, top his torso. And then they say that on the entire body of Khalid and Walid are just wounds. And Khalid and Walid on his deathbed, he said, I wish that I would have died on the battlefield. Okay, you hit on every part of your body and Allah is subhanahu wa ta'ala left. Allah ta'ala doesn't will it. Khalid dies on his, on his bed. Natural cause of Sayyidina Khalid. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu warda. Uh, but our good opinion, min shuhada. He's from the martyrs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? He's telling you at the end of his life, his niyyah, his intention, what his intention was. Radiallahu anhu warda. But the sir, as the ulama say, is safe Allah maslul. He's done sheet sword of Allah ta'ala. Allah ta'ala's sword cannot be broken on the battlefield. Huh? Cannot be broken on the battlefield as it wasn't with Sayyidina Khalid and Walid, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. But then the opposite we see is that Sahaba, Radiallahu Anhu, a Sahaba, Radiallahu Anhu, who this, when he dies, they find him dead. The Sahaba are, yani, quote unquote, boasting about the fact that he's attained martyrdom with Allah Ta'ala. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, how do you know where he's at inside of the next world? Huh? Another of them, the mother of somebody who'd been killed in battle, is, 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 after she, she finds out her son has, has died in front of the Rasul وسلم, that she's proclaiming my son is in paradise. And the Prophet said, How do you know where your son is? You don't know the nature of his intention. You don't know the nature of the acts that he did which may have negated intentions. The Prophet وسلم, said, Kayf. Uh-huh. The difficulty of the whole affair. The Messenger of God وسلم, said, whoever awakens with the conscious intention not to wrong anybody will be forgiven for whatever wrong he commits. Ah. Look, the importance of intention. That's how you wake up inside of the morning. Like some of us who, who memorize and say, inshallah ta'ala, the dua of al-Ghazali, facing in the morning. What is it about? That you're not the cause of harm to anybody or to any Muslim. And that no Muslim becomes the cause of harm to you. These are the first niyat intentions that you should have inside of the morning that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying. And thereafter, khalas, biyadillah, is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.